In this video, we're going to build the new Don's Plans Chuko New, or Machine Gun Crossbow, out of a oak stair tread and a piece of bamboo flooring. We start by cutting a little bit off the edge of each of these plan sheets, just a tiny bit so that we're into the printed portion. And then we can assemble the plans into one complete unit. And glue it together very carefully. The little X's will show you where to go. Our next step is to cut the pieces out of the paper. And I don't need to show you all of this. Just lightly glue each piece on. I've got most of them done. This is my last piece here because you didn't need to see all of this. Once you've lightly glued them into place, we're going to cut out the pieces on the lines. I do want to draw your attention over here to these three pieces. These are the three center pieces. And I've kept them in one separate section because I'm going to have to thin them down to a particular thickness, just thicker than the bolts. By the way, if you don't have the ability to uh, uh, sand to a particular thickness, you may want to make these out of a 3 8 inch thick piece of wood and then also add one layer of veneer in between because that'll be just thicker than the bolts. At this point, what we need to do is cut out the pieces. So we're going to start with a bandsaw. Now, I did the uh, straight cuts with a bandsaw, but I've got to do a bunch of curving cuts. I'm going to be using my scroll saw on that because it cuts a lot better on the corners. So. three center pieces. I put them next to each other so I could sand the material to the right thickness for this and that's just over 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, in fact 13 30 seconds of an inch. So we're going to sand those right now before we make all of these parts. thing we need to do is we need to cut uh, a hole into this optional cutout area so we can cut it out on the scroll saw. So we're just going to drill a hole in here. So we'll just tighten up this blade now and we'll be ready to cut. We got all the pieces cut out and we're going to sand everything off and make it all pretty before we get started. So uh, here goes. <laughs> that need to be cut in half. That's going to be the lever handle, the slide guides, and the magazine itself. We're going to start cutting them in half on the uh, table saw. All right, we cut the magazine pieces in half. And now I have the center pieces. They're going to be glued right in this position to build the section where the bolts can slide down. But before I glue all that together, I'm going to have to show you making the trigger uh, hole, and I'm also going to have to show you making the cover slots. I've got my table saw set to cut the cover slots, and the cover slots can be cut pretty quickly and easily like this. We have them both on the right side. There's just a little slot for the cover to slide into. OK, 
Okay, to build the trigger mechanism, the trigger is going to sit right here, and when the, the uh, magazine comes down, it's going to lift the bowstring off the slot. So I need to draw, dr drill a hole right across here, beginning right there. We're going to drill a hole, and then we're going to do a little countersink to fit that pin in. We're also going to cut the pin off to the 13 sixteenths called for in the plan. It's going to be just a little bit more than is necessary to lift that up into that spot. So we cut the pin off. Check it for length. And then we drill it. Moves up and down easily. And then we need a 3 8 inch drill bit that's going to countersink. Just large enough to hold the head. Our pin fits inside the slot. Notice it's flush with the edge and it lifts up to fire the bow. Once we've set the firing pin, we're ready to assemble the magazine. And so we're going to glue this together. Use plenty of glue and set a 3 8 dowel in position because that is what's actually going to determine how close these pieces can go. We need to have just a little bit of play so that this dowel can come out the front. That's going to form the barrel. I'll set my front center. Set my side, uh, my rear center. And then, of course, I need the bottom center, and don't let the uh, firing pin come out of the bottom center. This is your only chance to put the firing pin in. Last check to make sure that I've got enough play that the dowel rod can easily pass through the barrel. good. That's good. That's good. I'm going to take the dowel rod out and we're going to glue the opposing magazine side on. Don't put so much glue that it all comes oozing out, but don't short it on glue either. This is the only thing holding the magazine cover together. Once you've got the pieces together, clamp it. And let the glue dry overnight. Here's the stock completed. We didn't show you gluing that together, but I think you can figure that one out. And here we are with the end of the clamping procedure. And at this point you can see that our bolt should fit into here relatively easily. Here. Now we have to cut out the slot. 
Cutting out the slot, of course, it's going to involve drilling a hole. Make sure the firing pin's not in the way. Finish that on the scroll saw. We're going to use bamboo to make the bow because bamboo is such a flexible wood. Our bamboo is coming off of uh, pre-laminated bamboo floorboards. That's what we're going to build our bow out of. Any source you have is, of course, great. So we've got our floorboard cut into three quarter inch pieces. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and sand it down to one quarter inch thick. Here's the laminations of bamboo that we're going to make the bow out of. And uh, one of the things we need to do is cut little relief cuts on the actual bamboo pieces. And that's done quickly on the sand. Um, doesn't take long. <laughs> And the end one gets to be narrowed down so that the uh, bowstring can attach. So we're going to do it this way on the end one. And you can see this on the set of plans. Now the next thing we need is a little notch for the bowstring itself, and I'll do that over here on the bandsaw. The last thing we're going to do is use a little round file to round off where the bowstring is actually going to go. The last thing we need to do is cut out the bow slot through the stock. So I'm just going to cut it out across here and this will make my marks where it needs to go. the bow in place and to fix the handle and the, on the lever and the handle on the stock. So to fix the bow in place we're going to drill a hole right through the center of the bow into which we will position a screw. We also need to attach the stock. The 
stock should be glued and screwed into place. Last but certainly not least, we need to attach the lever handle. Now we want to mount the handle. I've got a long 832 screw. I've got a washer on the side of it. I'm going to put that in position across the lower hole. And then we're going to do the same to this side. other side of the handle and cap them off with a washer and this is a nylock nut it's got a built-in little piece to keep it from coming loose you can also just double nut that don't screw it too tight installing the bowstring we're gonna slide it onto this end put it through the slot and bring it through onto here this will take us a couple of practice tries to get it to the right length but when we're done, this bowstring is going to need to come to right about here. So, we'll try this one and see how good we do. There's our first attempt on the bowstring. This may take several attempts before we have it where we need it to be. Always makes me nervous bending the bow the first time. And that's actually right where I want it to be. Here's the bowstring in position, and that holds everything together. As we come forward, you can see it cocks into position. We'll bring it back, and that trigger is going to hit the stock right there, and that's going to knock everything loose. Let's take it outside and see how it does. It works. Chuko New versus Longbow. Go for broke. One of the last things we need to do, another one of the last things we need to do, I've said that too many times before. Let's try again.